Hey, this is Andreas from Pocketables.com and this is an example video for uh, part 4 of my beginner's guide to Tasker. And in this video I'm going to show you how to create a profile that a reader uh, or a forum member of the site requested. Uh, and I'm going to do it from scratch in this video. So here's the original thread with asking for uh, basically a profile that can uh, list news headlines from a specific source um, so he gave us this link right here for the uh, the new site he wants to use and then we're basically going to try to make a uh, task or get the news headlines from that link so I'm going to open it on my computer and also send it to my uh, phone So um, I'm just going to grab the URL from the f uh, browser on the phone and then we can just take a look at the site and as you can see there are several uh, news articles listed here and basically what we want to try to grab all these titles uh, into Tasker. So I'm going to hit Control U uh, on my computer in order to get the source. Uh, and then I'm going to search for just a couple of words from the the first headline families. Oh, should do it. Uh, just so I can find where in the code uh, um, the title is actually written. And as you can see in this top search bar, there are two mentions of families of in here, which means that basically you have it men the title mentioned. Well, you can see. Uh, the two instances being hi highlighted on the screen and what we're going to try to do is actually grab these titles so you have one there and then next one is down here and then so on and so forth so uh, what we first of all we're going to go into tasker and just uh, set everything up so uh, I'm going to call this LP news since it's Liverpool news uh, and just to get us started, we're going to first get all of this information into a variable. And we're going to do that using the sort of uh, method I prefer, which is first to use HTTP get. And uh, just going to delete that, put this into the path field. Like so, and then we're going to output that to lpnews.txt. And then we're going to go and read that file, which we call lpnews.txt, into a local variable lpnews. So this is sort of the... Uh, I prefer to save it first and then read it because I haven't had all that much success using the uh, HTTP data built-in variable. So this is just my method for doing it. Uh, and then we're going to add a flash for LP News. Uh, this is just sort of like a debug tool using flash. And you can see that when running the profile, uh, the task, it actually gives us this information that we're seeing on the computer screen. So uh, going back to the computer, uh, we're going to try to split out the titles, which means that we need to find a splitter that is as close to the title as possible. Um, so the closest we have in front of the title right here is basically this part right here, just some symbols greater than and uh, space and so on. Uh, so we're just going to search for that and see how many instances there are. So there are 41 instances and there are actually, I th think you can see in the sign here, there are actually a couple of instances of this uh, before the article listing. So that's not the ideal uh, splitter to use because uh, it might change over time. So uh, 
instead we're going to try to use h2 which is title 2 basically and that also gave us 25 instances but finding the first one actually shows us that the first mention of h2 in this source code is actually pretty close to the title so that means we're going to um, create a variable split for LP news and use uh, this H2 tag as the splitter. And then we're going to change this to LP news 2 just to show us if it that it gives us the correct result. And that seems to be working fine. So basically what I did now was I split this document for each mention of H2 in greater than lower than brackets, which means that uh, the first child is going to be all this garbage text before the first H2. Uh, the second variable, which is uh, LP news 2 is going to be everything between uh, the first and the second mention of H2. And then number three is going to be between these and so on and so forth. So that's why I uh, added LP News 2 as the flash in order to actually see that we're getting this text right here. And that's what we did. So uh, everything is fine so far. So that basically means that what I have highlighted in blue, which hopefully shows up in the video, uh, is what we have in LP News 2. And we we want to get the titles, which means that we need to cut that one up further. And now we can actually use this splitter over here because now we have already sort of limited what the variable contains. So we're going to add a new variable split for LP news 2. Uh, and we're going to split that using uh, these symbols that we saw going to drag that one up and if that's successful uh, then basically uh, all of this right here which I've highlighted basically the link is going to be the first child of that child so LP news 2 1 and then everything after this until the next H2 is going to be uh, or actually, well, yeah, it's going to be LP News 2.2. 2. So I'm just going to change this to LP News 2.2 2 and try it again. And I just do this every time in order to make sure that everything is working because if you add more actions and then you have to go back and see which one doesn't work if one doesn't. So. Uh, just to see when it flashes, you can see that the title of the story is actually first now. It just has all of this garbage text at the end. So that means that LP News 2.2 right now is uh, the title and all the garbage text. So that means we need to remove the garbage text. And luckily that's quite simple because we have a, uh, a few symbols or actually it's an HTML tag but at the end that we can use so we're going to add a new variable split uh, this one time we're going to split LP news 22 which is child number two of child number two of LP news uh, and the splitter is going to be basically the end of link HTML tag right there drag it up and then basically this right here is going to be LP news 221 so I'm going to make it flash LP news 221 and then run it and look and if we're lucky it shows just the title which is which it did so right now we managed to split this down to one of the titles, but I'm guessing that he wants more than one headline read to him. So uh, luckily, it's quite easy to actually add more. 
because when we split the initial LP news um, variable, we did that for every H2, which means that even though we've been working with the LP news 2 child, there was also LP news 3 created and LP news 4 and so on and so forth. So what we could do is just take action number four uh, and basically copy it and paste it and do the same with number five. So uh, four and five and six and seven are now identical as you can see. I'm just going to go into action six and change that from using LP News 3 to using, no, from LP News 2 to LP News 3. And then in the next action, we're going to change it from LP News 22 to LP News uh, 32. So if this works, if I now just add LP News 3 to 1 in my flash, uh, we can add some symbols in between so it's easier to see. It should now give us two different headlines. Uh, which is dead. So uh, let's just do this a couple of more times. Uh, copy, paste, um, copy, paste, change the 3 to a 4, like so. just add a LP news 421 so now it should give us three headlines so as you can see this is working uh, the method is the same for adding more headlines up to the total number which is here which is something like I don't know it looks like 20 or so uh, but three will do for now because you can basically easily do that later uh, and as you can see, these three variables in this flash now contains the headlines. You have LP News 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 4 to 1, and if you add more, you also get 5 to 1, 6 to 1, and so on. So he wanted a uh, wanted it to actually uh, read it to him. So I'm just going to copy this text because I'm lazy. And going to the miscellaneous category, add a say and paste that um, let's just uh, uh, today's headlines oh, I can't type. Just something like that. I mean, this is basically just easy just to demonstrate how it works. Um, I have to select a voice engine. Uh, delete my flash and then I have to unplug my external microphone in order to actually get it to say anything. Hopefully there will still be audio to some degree and then we can just try it. Today's headlines are as follows. Families of the Hillsborough victims receive apology from South Yorkshire Police Chief Constable. Hillsborough, Kelvin McKenzie offers profuse apologies to the people of Liverpool for that headline. Hillsborough report comment, my god, it's even worse than we thought. So yeah, let me just plug my microphone back in. Uh, and basically that's it. So you could do this with uh, just add more, uh, just copy paste those two same actions and change the number over and over again. And then you get more variables you can use. And right now I didn't separate each news item with anything but a um, period which isn't read out loud using the say action. But you could perhaps uh, do something like a news story one is... Uh, LP News 2 to 1, News Story 2 is LP News 3 to 1, and basically just whatever you prefer. So 
that's just how you do this and uh, I thought it would be helpful to see how to do this from scratch uh, and uh, make sure to read the rest of the article to get this in context.